Hello and welcome to Green Hat Red Beard Adventures. This video is going to be about my tea set, uh, my little, well not really full tea set, but just the kettle itself actually. This is from GSI Outdoors. This is the GSI Catalyst, I believe. Uh, it's basically, uh, I wanted a small uh, pot, cooking pot that I can keep in my day hiking backpack. That's a small, simple, has a nice mesh carrying bag. And it's something that I uh, can carry that's smaller than my billy pot. Uh, a friend of mine has a pot just like this one here, and he cooks literally everything in this pot. Like, it's meant for like, you know, tea, coffee, hot chocolate, whatever suits your fancy, but he cooks everything out of this kettle, and so far I've cooked myself a good set of meals out of this. I'm gonna pull this out now in a second and show you guys how this thing looks and whatnot to expect. So when you first get it, of course, it's obviously going to be a lot more cleaner and shiny. It's going to have this nice mesh bag. The mesh bag works really nice. It keeps the lid on in place, especially if you have stuff on the inside of it. And not only that, but the cover on the bottom there, you can see, if you get any soot or dirt or ashes, embers from the fire on the bottom of the thing, this here, of course, will protect... Uh, well, basically, it just like keeps all the dirt inside and prevents the innards from your backpack getting all loose and making a mess. So it has a little drawstring right here. Open her up. Obviously, mine here is obviously pretty used. So you got your GSI logo right there and right on the side there. I'm not sure how good you can see that. There it is, the GSI stainless steel. Uh, sorry, that's a... Glacier Stainless Steel Catalyst, and it has a little picture there as well. Now, when you first get this, it's going to have this pot. There's also some stuff that comes with it, but I do not have it here for the video. When you first open it up, uh, it'll have like a little plastic bowl and mug set. It's like the, uh, the mug slips inside the bowl, there's a little lid for it, and it slips right inside and fits perfectly, nestles itself right in there quite nicely. It also comes with a little spork tool, which I'm not going to talk about because the spork tool it comes with is a piece of junk. It's garbage. Just toss it. Get rid of it. Another reason why I like this pot is because of the bailing handle. I like hanging my pots over the fire. So it's, I really wanted a pot that had a bailing handle. And that's another reason why I chose the, uh, the kettle to go with. So all in all, basically it holds uh, about three cups of water. Um, usually you can use the, uh, basically from the bottom to the uh, bend right here. That's usually a good uh, indicator right there of how much water to fill it up with. That's three cups of water. You can go three and a half cups. That'll take you right to the bottom of the spout. But, of course, when your water is boiling, the water is going to generally spew out the spout a little bit. So you might want to try to avoid that a little bit. So three cups of water is what it should hold. All in all, when the uh, bailing handle is down... I got a tape measure right here. That is about roughly three and a half inches tall with the bailing handle up. That brings it up to about six inches. The uh, bottom diameter is just shy of six inches. And of course, for the, uh, from the bottom to the uh, lip right here, that's the three cup mark. That there is uh, roughly an inch and three quarters, inch and seven eighths. So it's a nice, uh, it's a nice overall size kettle. It's not too big, not too small. It fits really nicely into my bushcraft backpack. Um, like I said, it has stuff that comes with it. I was not interested in the stuff that came with it, so I actually just pulled it out and just pretty much just stuck it to the side and uh, never again touched it. So what I I do keep stuff inside of it. Like I said, you know. It's got yourself, sorry, it's got yourself a nice big opening to it, so it's nice and, uh, you know, you can, off, I can fit my whole fist in here, of course, so it's not just for, you know, boiling water up and uh, making your tea or your coffee or whatever. Um, I've actually cooked uh, Mr. Noodles in here, I've cooked uh, Kraft Dinner in here, uh, soups out of a can, I've also made a little bit of vegetable soup as well, and uh, almost like a stew as well in here, as a... Uh, I do try to keep it quite clean. The outside I just cleaned it just recently. Otherwise it'd probably be a little be a little more black than this. But as you can see, it's like it's pretty open, it's pretty uh easy as well. So what I normally store in here is actually my coffee, 
a uh, little spoon, a little stir spoon. I got the uh, this stainless steel spoon that just broke recently. I just took a grinder to it to take the sharp edges off. And I just scooped this up with the uh, coffee. I got this uh, leather pouch right here that uh, I keep my coffee in. Uh, inside this leather bag, which I'm not going to open it up, is a Ziploc bag. It has all the gra coffee grinds in it. And also, this uh, did not come with this uh, kettle, but this actually came with a different set entirely that I don't own anymore. But uh, I would like to keep it with this just in case, so uh, I'm trying to put it on here. So you basically stick the two fingers in there, and that way, you know, you can just lift it up like that and not get burnt. But uh, I also have a, uh, a real rag right here I can also use for grabbing it as well. And also it works with the cleanup as well. Uh, there is another version of this pot around somewhere. Well, actually, uh, two versions of this pot. Uh, one of which, uh, I'm not sure if it's the, uh, uh, I can't remember the proper name of it, but it's actually made out of aluminum. Uh, personally, I try to stay away from aluminum. This is, in fact, stainless steel. Uh, there's this one here, and there's also another one. It's almost the exact same thing, but it has a, a, a rubber covering the handle, as well as the little uh, uh, loop on here as well. Uh, personally, for that kind of kettle with have this, the rubber, it's more used for stuff like uh, uh, using on like a pocket rocket stove or a gas stove or alcohol stove, something of that sort. So that way you got the rubber on there. I don't recommend putting it directly into a, onto a fire or in the fire on the embers because then the rubber is going to melt on you. You'll burn your fingers to get that rubber in the in the wounds, and believe me, it's not pretty. So. I chose to go with this one simply because of the bailing handle as well as the fact that it's just a bare bailing handle. It works really nicely for me. Uh, like I said, I've made many things with this. Coffee as well and such. So and I'll show you what uh, I do here. So like I said, it fits this in here really nice. Just get that in there. And then of course the little rag. We'll stick that in right into there. Little spoon. It's in there. Of course, the little thing right there. Just stick that right. So it's all just sitting right in there. And then of course, the lid goes right on top. And you're good to go. So you can see, obviously, that that leather pouch is actually quite big. It's like the size of my fist. And it's got full of coffee and whatnot. So it's obviously, you can fit quite a bit in here. Uh, you can fit... You know, nice decent amount of little supplies in there, like you said, like I showed. You know, you can fit your own little bit of coffee pa packets or hot chocolate packets, maybe some Mr. Noodles. You can do what I do and put the coffee in there, other people with other things. So, there you have it. You know, I bought this probably about four months ago. Um, like I said, I was looking for a small, because of my bushcraft bag being a small, um, it's a small bag. My Billy Can that I normally use, and believe me, I absolutely love my Billy Can. I'm never gonna give give it up. But it just like my Billy Can just takes up about a good quarter or so of that backpack space. I actually have a backpack right here. So it's all just like it takes up a quarter of the space inside of here, and therefore just uh, oops, someone's ringing. Uh, so it takes up a lot of space. So I decided to. Uh, you know, I don't really need it that badly. I, you know, it's a liter and a half. I don't really need that seriously big of a pot. So I decided to go with something smaller. At first, I was going to go with like the MSR uh, pots, but I decided against it because of the fact that I do want something with a bailing handle. Like I said, I like to hang my uh, pots over the fire if I have the option to do so, because that way it uh, makes for less cleaning. So, but uh, I also got this uh, leather pouch right here. I actually keep uh, this with the mesh, everything and stuff inside this leather bag. That way I can also put some other things and it also leaves some room so I can put a Mr. Noodles packet in there or a KD packet in there. That way it's all nice and tidy and safe and clean. Huh. So this is my GSI kettle. It's really nice. I love it. It works really great and I have no complaints against it. This is Green Hat Red Beard Adventures. See you around.